Hey, Pastor Steve Waldron here today. I want to talk to us about all about creation science. What is creation science? There's a kind of a no-vu term that came out. Uh, Philip Johnson really has promoted creation science called intelligent design. We've got the Discovery Institute. So let's go into creation science right now. So First of all, you have different branches of creation science. You would have what's known as young earth creationists, which I would be that. They would say the earth is somewhere under 50,000 years of age. Almost all of them would say under 10,000 years of age. This would be young earth creationists. Henry Morris really did a good job there. This was the basic belief of Christianity for uh, millennia. And so it's just been a very recent thing with an interaction between Darwinianism and um, the Bible that people have tried to conflate ages. But young earth creationism, I think most objective people that read the Bible would come to the conclusion the Bible teaches young earth creation, that the earth was created in six 24-hour days or 23-hour, 56-minute and some odd second days as they're known as solar days. And so there's young earth creationism. And then beyond that, you would have the gap theory creationism that would say there was a monumental gap between Genesis 1-1 and Genesis 1-2. Now, I'll probably do a video at some point of why that is incorrect. I teach that up in Indiana Bible College a lot of why that is not correct. But then they would have a pre-Adamite civilization. This, they would say this is where dinosaurs were. It was the world that then was. And then there was a satanic flood. That's why the earth covered, excuse me, the waters covered the earth in Genesis 1, 2, and 1, 3. And they would get this a lot from Jeremiah chapter 4, verses 22 through 27. It seems to be talking about, in allegorical language, of apocalypse. They would apply the finest date really pushed that, and uh, he got his from a, a man by the name of Pember back in the 1870s, really promoted that view as well. So then you would have those that would say each day is an indeterminate uh, creation day, that the first day would be millions of years, second day, millions of years, third day, but you know, you think about it. You can't really say much about Darwin, you know, Darwinianism if that's your belief system. And again, this was really brought into Christianity to try to merge what they felt was scientific fact with Christianity. But you don't need to do that. There is a vast body of people, Answers in Genesis, the Institute of Creation Research, that are young earth creationists that would uh, show in my view, really beyond a shadow of a doubt, that it is impossible for the world to be much more than uh, 6,000 years of age, and that the ice age came about because of Noah's flood, that the sedimentary layers came about because of Noah's flood, fossilization came about because of Noah's flood, catastrophism, not uniformitarianism. That would be the watchword there. And so then you would have uh, Hugh Ross has kind of a, a variation of theistic evolution. He is very ingenious with it. He would be uh, a biblicist, very staunch biblicist, but he would try to put in uh, long ages in that biblicism. And he would say Adam and Eve were just the first people with souls. And then you would come to what's known as full-throated uh, theistic evolution. That evolution is correct, but since the odds of evolution are infinitesimally small, enough to be able to say it's impossible that God used evolution. And many people even go back to a Augustine or Augustine to say he taught this. And the Catholic Church has put this as their official doctrine, theistic evolution. Calvin College, some other Christian colleges would say this. And um, I think Cornelius Van Til may have gone into theistic evolution. And so that's what you would have. And then you would have kind of this catch-all of intelligent design that would primarily be old earth creationism, but would allow for some young earth creationism. And uh, this again would be the Discovery Institute. This would be 
your privileged planet uh, DVD that is so incredible, so fantastic, and uh, this type of thing. So this is all about creation science. This is what we're looking at. Again, I think it's very clear that the Bible, Exodus 20, it, that, that from Hebrew, that the Bible teaches a worldwide flood, that it teaches the world was created in six 24-hour, just under 24-hour days, and everything we see conforms with that viewpoint, an instantaneous creation. Even Stephen Jay Gold, who is considered to be the foremost evolutionist in the last part of the 20th century from Harvard University, he saw that male and female had to be created and that there had to be certain capacities of male for seed, female for womb and egg, and, and they had to be, you know, right within a certain number of years of each other, and that that couldn't have happened. So then he came out with the hopeful monsters theory and the uh, punctuated equilibrium that every 50,000 years these things just appear. It sounds a lot like creationism to me. But anyhow, God bless you, believe the Bible, and you don't have to take back seat to anybody, regardless of what universities and everybody tell you. There should be a free flow of ideas. Ben Stein did a great DVD on Expelled about how they're trying to quench free speech and how Darwinianism is totalitarian and quenches free speech. God bless you today.